drop a like in the next 5 seconds if you want to get every single item in Fortnite. The gifting system is here, and while it lasts, I actually will be gifting a bunch of battle passes, skins, and other items to my subscribers. Now, if you also want to get a free gift from me, then all you have to do is first of all, subscribe to the channel, from there drop a like on this video, and also make sure to leave a comment down below telling me your Epic Games username. Make sure to spell correctly, or otherwise, I cannot send you a free gift. Anyways, let's actually begin with the video. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to claim your free gift in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now real quick, we're so close to 2.5 million subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button right now, you could be my 2,500,000 subscriber. And also, huge shout out to everyone who's using code SHUFFLEGAMER in the item shop. If you do use the code, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section by saying I used your code and I will give your comment a heart. Now, with all that said, let's actually start with the video. All right, so we're now halfway through season X or known as season 10. Five weeks have passed and there's still five weeks remaining to the release of season 11. Now, a couple of days ago, Epic Games released a V10.20 patch update. In this update, we received the new shield bubble item as well as the Fortnite X Mayhem event, including the Psycho bundle as well as the Rift Zone named Pandora. Now, in this update, they also thought it would be a great idea to return the time between turbo building from 0.05 seconds to 0.15 seconds seconds. This caused the community on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch to go crazy because it made proper build fights impossible. You couldn't even pop some 90s. Now Epic Games finally decided to revert their changes. This is the full article on screen right here. If you wish to read it all, just pause the video and from there, continue watching. Anyways, because of Epic Games messing up and making a wrong change on their side, we could expect a compensation for this very soon. Just like what they did with the Evolting Event, where they gave everyone the Arcana Glider for free, or more recently, with the Gunner Pet, where they gave everyone who bought it a full refund as well as 200 V-Bucks for free. When you think about it, you can just tell Epic Games likes to compensate to us for all their mistakes. So, we can expect a free gift from them very soon because of this incorrect turbo building change. Everyone who owns the Mecha Team Leader skin, the Waypoint skin or the Bravo Leader skin is going to unlock a free skin style. The Mecha Team Leader skin got a metal style and both the Waypoint skin and the Bravo Leader skin got a green style. Okay, so from there we have a bunch of other free items which you can unlock. You won't believe it, but a new Twitch Prime pack is coming to Fortnite. Yes, you heard that right. After a full year of waiting, we're finally going to get new Twitch rewards. Back in Season 3, we received the first Twitch Prime pack. The first Twitch Prime pack gave us two skins, a glider, and four emotes. This first Twitch Prime pack came out on Wednesday, February 28th, 2018. Then, we have the second Twitch Prime pack, which gave us one skin, one harvesting tool, one back bling, and one emote. The second Twitch Prime pack came out on Wednesday, May the 9th, in Season 4. Anyways, in Season 10, in the game files, leakers were able to find all these text messages or known as strings. They all have something to do with linking your Twitch account to your Epic Games account and from there watching certain streamers. From there, by completing a couple of quests, you're going to unlock free items and rewards. Exactly what happened during the Game Jam Hollywood event where we had to link our YouTube account to your Epic Games account. Back then, we unlocked two sprays as well as a rep, so we can expect something similar very soon. But then, of course, with Twitch. From there, you can now use certain items such as emotes and pickaxes from Battle Royale and Save the World and also the other way around. These are known as traversal items. For everyone who owns Save the World, you're now able to get a couple of harvesting tools for free in Battle Royale. These are all the harvesting tools that you will be able to unlock for free in Battle Royale if you own Save the World. And that's also exactly the reason why some players receive the Ride the Pony and the Pony Up emotes. By the way, if you turn on your notifications right now and comment hashtag notification squad, I will give your comment a heart. From here, at Haunted Hills, we have a new statue which is actually a female Love Ranger. In the game, we now have the Love Ranger as well as the Dark Love Ranger. But coming soon is going to be the female Love Ranger. Pretty cool teaser in my opinion. We might even be able to get it for free by completing some challenges. It could even be the zero point skin which you unlock after completing all the season 10 missions. Because if you didn't know yet, there's a challenge named to be revealed. This is most likely going to be this season's secret skin. From there, the season 10 bundle got leaked already. These bundles are always a really good deal in my opinion. In season 7, we get the Frozen Legends bundle. In season 8, 
we get the Lava Legends bundle, and in Season 9, we get the Shadow Legends bundle. Now, in Season 10, we're going to get the Dark Legends bundle. This bundle will include three skins, and then being the Dark Wild Card, the Dark Red Knight, and the Dark Jonesy. From there, it will give us the Dark Shield Backbling, as well as the Dark X Harvesting Tool. From there, we're going to receive the new PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack 7 very soon in Fortnite. A leaker on Twitter said the following. Another PS Plus bundle was in the works. Both the banner and the emoji relate to the Carbon Commando skin, which is a previous PS Plus exclusive bundle. Along with this is a wrap, which appears to not be finished or is still encrypted. And from there, he shows the flail emoticon as well as the Commando banner icon. But of course, with that, we also get ourselves a free rep. Now from there, we're going to get a new collaboration very soon. This time it's going to be collab between Fortnite and IT Chapter 2. Next week Friday, the new movie IT Chapter 2 is going to roll out in cinema and with that, we're getting a new event with challenges and free rewards in Fortnite. In the game files, a balloon with the name Creepy Balloon got added, as well as these audio files right here. I'll give you guys a listen to them right now. <laughs> Okay, so if this video reaches 20,000 likes in the first day, I'm going to give away a couple of exclusive skin bumble codes. As you can see, I got all of them in my locker. I got the Galaxy skin, the Iconic skin, the Double Helix skin, the Dark Vertex skin, the Ian skin, the Honor Guard skin, the Stealth Reflex skin, the Wonder skin, as well as the Neo Versa skin and the Royal Bomber skin. I actually still have a few of these skin codes left. So, if you want me to give them away, hit the like button on this video. From there, because of the Middle East receiving its very own servers, everyone unlocked the Stay Smooth spray as a gift. Now here comes the interesting part. In the game files, three more sprays were found, and these being Take Cover, Comet, and Play to Win. Now when you put all the four sprays together, you will get a rift. Rifts are of course back in season 10, and it's pretty much what the whole time twist season is about. Now, how cool is that? Now coming to Fortnite next week is going to be the first throwable trap ever. It is called the Zapper Trap, and this is what it looks like. It will most likely be introduced in next week's content update, which is going to be on the 3rd of September. It will probably work like the Ceiling Zapper, which came out back in Season 1. From there, in Week 6, we're going to get the Return Challenges as well as the Boogie Down Challenges. The Return Challenges are available for everyone, and the Boogie Down Challenges are only available for Battle Pass owners. By completing the Return Challenges, you will unlock a total of 30 Battle Stars, which is equal to 3 tiers, 3500 XP and this loading screen right here. And then for completing the Boogie Down Challenges, you will unlock a total of 10,000 XP, 50 Battle Stars, which is equal to 5 tiers, as well as this emoticon named DJ Jonder and the Jonder style for the skin. A guide on how to complete all the challenges will be uploaded to my channel next week. So just stay tuned for that. But something else which we can expect next week is going to be another Rift Zone. This time it might even be an actual live event. In the game, a ton of files from previous events have been added back. Let me just tell you right now, Kevin the Cube is going to come back. In the game, this new location has been found. It's pretty much a mix between the Loot Lake Island, the Cube, the Motel, and some restaurants or shops. This is exactly what it's going to look like in the game. Leakers are able to place its model early somewhere around the map. Right here, we have the HD image of the floating cube island on the map. And what I think is that this island is going to travel across the map once again, just like what it did back in Season 6. This floating cube island can also be seen on this loading screen right here. This loading screen is called The Return, and has a description that says, Darkness rises once more. And with darkness, they of course mean the cube. The reason why I'm saying this could become an actual event is because when you change your country to Arabian, your newsfeed is going to change to this right here. It shows an explanation mark with the text translated to, Soon, the disaster is coming. This hints towards the next live event, and it probably has something to do with the cube. From there, we now have a torch as well as a flashlight pistol in creative. Both these items can be found under weapons in your creative inventory. The torch is a rare melee weapon, and the flashlight pistol is a rare ranged weapon. Also, when you now purchase anything from the item shop, you will get yourself the option to instantly refund it without a refund token. As you can see, after I purchase myself anything, it's going to give me the option in the bottom right corner of your screen to cancel purchase. It will say cancel purchase available for a little while or until you leave this screen. So just hold the button and it will successfully refund the item you just purchased. The item gets removed from your locker, the V-Bucks get added back to your account, and it doesn't even cost a refund token. It is a great feature in my opinion, especially if you accidentally press the button to purchase. Now the reason why the item shop layout keeps changing is because of the item shop voting system. 
The voting system has now been leaked for several weeks, but still, every single update, new files get added to it. At this point, I think it's almost ready for launch. Here are even more official images of what it's going to look like on screen. From there, these two images will be found to the files. They're also going to be part of the voting system. This system will give us a chance to vote for selected items to make its return in the item shop. We will be able to bring out our vote every single day. An item shop that is making its comeback is going to be on the sale too. Every item has a countdown or a timer as well as a hype meter and animations. Even audio files have been found. I'll give you guys a listen to them right now. Okay, so from there, you still have some time left to complete all the Welcome to Pandora challenges. I completed all of them in just one game. So, to be honest, I think they're really easy. Anyways, for completing them, you will unlock XP, two sprays, a banner icon, as well as a rep. The sprays are called Psycle and Crunk Bunny, the banner is called Vault Banner, and the rep is called Mayhem. And then last, but not least, here are all the cosmetics that are coming to the item shop very soon. As you can see, we have a ton of new emotes, harvesting tools, back blinks, skins, as well as wraps and music packs coming to the game. We have a total of 9 unreleased skins, and them being 1 uncommon or green skin, which would cost you 800 V-Bucks in the item shop. He is called Hard Charger, and this is what he looks like. From there, we have 3 rare or blue skins, and they will cost you each 1200 V-Bucks in the item shop. They're called Shifu, Aeronaut, and Slash. From here, we have 4 epic or purple skins, which then means they're going to be 1500 V-Bucks in the item shop. They're called Vulture, Boa Bros, Astro Assassin, and Airhead. And then last, but not least, we have a legendary or gold skin, which of course is going to cost you 2000 V-Bucks, and he's called Rogue Spider Knight. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. But with all that being said, always remember this was Shovel Gamer, and I am signing out.